hello guys welcome back to the channel uh, this video is going to be very important for mysql people okay uh, there are a lot of comments under lesson number three uh, you can go and check my video on how to connect uh, power bi with my mysql okay so this is on top of that because there are comments and those comments are like that is a scenario where you have uh, Power BI desktop in your local somewhere and uh, you have MySQL in your domain so MySQL server is separate somewhere remote and you will connect to MySQL uh, remote system and then uh, you try to load that data into your Power BI okay so let's understand that one so here on my screen you can see any desk is there okay so you see this is my local you see my pointer here and this is my remote so this remote is my mysql server with workbench okay and in my local i have workbench to just connect to this system okay let's see what is there first of all let's go with the ip here so let's say ip config okay so this 192.168.1.5 that is my ip address for the server mysql server okay let's minimize this one let's go to the workbench here okay so let's close this one okay let's connect to this uh, ip okay that is my local host itself okay so i can connect with either with the local host or i can connect with this one so here i need to add my password for the user essay okay okay so i logged in here and uh, if you see i have database or schema whatever you call as a demo and I have one table user and let's see what is data is there only two values ID name one and two records are there one two Tom song okay whatever it is so this is what we want to access in my power bi okay and uh, remember this is it network okay that is the scenario now uh, if you try to connect power bi directly it will throw this kind of error you see this i try to connect to this system with some user okay and it's showing me some authentication issues so that's the problem for authentication okay so i try to connect with the root initially okay and i uh, come across the issue and then in MySQL, I have created one more user that associated with this IP address and it's having all the required privileges on the demo database. Okay, that's what the solution is about. Okay, so let's see how we need to configure the user and the ip address okay so for that uh, i will share the things required here okay so basically you need these two commands okay this is what i am using right now so first uh, to create user called sa or whatever you want and the ip address okay and your password so this is the text you can just simply use this text in this there is a create user username and then the ip address then identify by and the password and then finally there is a grant okay so basically grant grant yeah so it's now clear so this is another command once you run this command on mysql prompt then second command you will execute this one so it will grant all the privileges on particular database to particular user 
with this IP okay so this is how you will do in your uh, Windows environment this is about Windows environment okay and uh, I will show you that commands how I have executed see I tried different commands and there was only one user now I have two users actually okay so let's see how many users I have okay so these are my users so you can see now SA is assigned with this okay so this is what you also needed the IP address not just localhost so root is assigned with the host that is just localhost either you can convert your root to some particular IP or you have to add an entry so in Linux it's a different thing uh, it needs to add into etc folder SQL config file okay bound properties and um, something is there so that you can just uh, google it and you will find but in uh, in windows environment you need this commands okay i am on mysql uh, command line client and there i have executed this line first okay and this is my second line so this is what we needed okay i hope it is clearly visible okay try to zoom so this is what you needed now once you completed these steps these two steps and uh, once you see that you have this uh, in your uh, list in this list here okay so now what you can do you go back to your uh, workbench and you will try to connect okay and you will be successfully connect so I will show you the connection also so add it connection so this is what your connection look like so here I have created a new connection you can go and add a new connection where you can assign a name and then you just need to keep this settings as it is just add host name that is your IP address don't change the port and use a new uh, username here and then your whatever database you want to connect so in my case it's a demo and then you can try test okay it will ask for password the same password you have to add okay and say okay so you will get this successful okay and now I will close this one and just double click on this and I have logged in okay and uh, I'm just checking the values here so I'm connected uh, to my server and my database with the IP okay that is I have created so now you have this done so next step so these all things happen on server okay everything happen on server using any desk that's what I did okay so now I'm going to minimize this thing so our server is set up and fine now first of all uh, from your client from where you want to connect there you have to check your ping command first five this is my server so I need to check okay it's working fine and I will show you my IP this this machine IP is uh, 6 1.6 and uh, server is 1.5 okay so I have server uh, that is another laptop that is X1 carbon and uh, I have 1.6 is uh, Leno Z580 so both are laptop so that way I have configured now just uh, once we have this working fine so this is important okay it should be pink okay now that is done then you will in this client machine okay I have installed a workbench MySQL workbench okay so once I have this MySQL workbench installed same thing I will do I will create a new connection okay and uh, let's say this is my server where I want to connect okay and uh, this IP 1.5 and uh, this is a username 
and this database name okay so let's test and successfully connected see so this should be happen once this thing is set up means client and server is communicating properly now the same uh, i can just go and use it so it's connection is created and uh, see i have this all required stuff okay so we need uh, schemas here okay so let's jump into the important part you can figure out here like you can uh, add your schemas this one tables and go here in the user limit thousand and this is working fine okay so i am able to see my data here okay so now main thing now how to bring this into power bi okay so there is an important thing like i have already installed one connection let's go to control panel okay so this is a critical thing okay add remove programs where is that okay the important thing is this one so you need mysql connector net it means whatever version but this is the latest version i just downloaded you can see the date 5.27 to 2021 these two things i just prepared for this demo in this system it was not there so this is something you need okay mysql connector so uh, if i let's do one thing i just uninstall this one okay and uh, let's close this one don't save anything okay so that is removed now okay and this is what may be your scenario so let's now start power bi okay so there is an important thing like you will close the power bi and start the power bi that is important part okay so in your case might be you don't have installed that so let's see what power bi will prompt there will be one error it's not error but it's a simple message that it will ask to install first it will ask to install the connector so let's go to the get data and uh, come on okay so we'll say my sql database and connect ah, so this is the important message here so it is asking this connector requires one or more additional components to be installed before it can be used okay so this is what and this is the important part learn more so this link will redirect you to the download okay just click that now i have already downloaded that one so i don't need to download it again but i will just show you so here you can go and just simply download this one so and just say no thanks and start download so it will start downloading again so it's just in 3.8 mb and uh, once it is finished let's down install this one it will take like a few seconds so next say complete install yes and boom done okay so this thing is done now important uh, another important point now if you install and your still power bi is on okay and you try to connect it won't connect so let's try it again it's becoming slower 
Ah, okay. So my SQL. Okay, it's still showing that message. The reason is we need now we need to restart. Okay, so I just close Power BI. I will say Power BI again and just start it again. So now whatever some checks or something it will uh, collect the information that is required and basically we consider that it will take some information about that connector that is for sure i will go to date uh, get data here and my sql and now see what's happened so now this prompt change so it now allows power bi to communicate or allow to get this prompt okay so in this case uh, we need a dot one dot five that is our server ip and uh, demo it our database and might be some additional thing if you need you can do but uh, for now just say ok for testing and uh, we have this credentials so connect and we connected successfully it will show us the one table so this is how we can connect uh, your client SQL, MySQL server okay and just load so for MySQL it is not straightforward you have to add your IP okay and uh, work around the IP and the password and bound that whole connection and finally we have this required stuff here and just I will display the value here ID name okay. hope you guys the values okay okay so this is our table value that we fetch from the mysql server that is the remote system okay and it's now in our local system okay so this is how you can do please write down your comments your scenario if you have any hurdles issues uh, I will find time and try to answer and try to create another video based on your scenario that's for sure so thanks for visiting I like to read your comments and uh, I like to answer so please Keep watching videos, learning, and make this learning happy. So, please share this video because there I, I found a lot of people that needs uh, the clarity and information. So, please share in your groups. Uh, do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you, guys. I uh, will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.